What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. Okay, so, guess what guys, last episode, heck yes, look at that, six badges, six freaking badges. Okay, so, we defeated Sabrina, we're about to go to another gym battle, believe it or not, and, uh, well, we got one more thing to do here, just a little bit of what a business right here, and this go right here. Talk to this lady. My daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. Well, she must be a pain. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname the copycat around here. Which is cool. Now, you go around here somewhere. There's some Pokemon. Look at that. Do duo. Oh, wow. Okay. Mary, okay. Wow. That was kind of weird. Mary Mary on whatever. And then this is a rare Pokemon. No, it's a doll. So most of these are dolls, and if you talk to her, she's gonna be like, Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quick mimicry. That, but that's my favorite hobby. Oh, wow, a Poke doll for me? Thank you. You can have this then. We get the, we get the, yeah, we get the TM31. And it contains Mimic, yes. It, it's a very good move to mimic other Pokemon moves, which is pretty cool. That is good. Alrighty. Alright, okay, so that is basically it for Saffron City. Now, if you guys haven't seen the last few episodes on the Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, yes, we have already completed everything. Everything in Cinnabar Island from, you know, reviving our fossils to going into the Burnt Mansion, figuring out what is going on around there. And we have the secret key, which is cool. So now, the only thing that's left to do over there is just to go battle Blaine, the gym leader. So yes... Three straight episodes, we will be battling Pokemon Gym Leaders, which is cool. Awesome. Great. And, uh, yeah, we already took a tour of Cinnabar Island, so it's pretty cool. So, in we go. And the only guy that's ever believed in us is going to be like this. Yo, champ in the making. The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Dows his spirits with water. You better take some burning heals. Okay, that's cool. Now, the... The key to going about this whole place is this. We have to go to this little machine right here and answer a few questions or a, a riddle. We answer it correctly, we will go to the next room. We answer it incorrectly, of course, this gentleman right here will battle us. Either or, it's fine by me, but for me, I'm going to have to increase my levels just a little bit more because we are at the last two trainers, the gym leaders I should say, and uh, you know we kind of need as much experience points as possible. So we will be answering the questions and we will be battling the trainers. So let's go. Pokemon quiz. Get it right, door opens the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your uh, Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. What do we got? Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. True. That is right. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. And since this is a fire type gym, we do have to use our, you know, Hydra, Thrasher, ground, you know, ground type Pokemon, rock types, uh, water types mainly. So, let's go. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer. Let's do it. Yes, I do prefer more battles than just solving these quizzes, but you know, we gotta do both of them. So here he comes out with the Growlithe, level 36. Should be an issue right now, right? Surf Attack. I have two moves that can actually beat these guys. Alrighty, okay. Glub, glub, glub. Growlithe is going down. That's right. And coming out with the Vulpix, let's stay, let's stay with this guy right here. You know what, I'm just gonna be using both Thrasher and and our good old buddy Hydra. Earthquake attack. I love this move. I love this move. That's right. Say goodbye. That's right. And coming out with Nine Tails, which is a pretty good Pokemon. Don't want to mess with that. So let's go. Right here. Earthquake attack. Look at that. Look at that. Ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Beat you with these Pokemon. And would you look at that? I surrender. <laughs> you surrender. That's good. Oh, and it's an also a good way to earn money right here. Um, let's see. There's two trainers. Okay, let's let Hydra deal with this guy right here. Let's go. Do you know? 
know, do you know how Pokemon Fire po or Pokemon Fire Breathe can get? Fire Breathe or Fire Breath? Man, I got that all wrong. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Bring it. Super Nerd wants to battle us, and he's coming out with his Vulpix. Me, I'm just gonna come out with uh, me. I'm just gonna come out with this guy right here. So let's go with Bubble Beam. That's right. Look at that. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Okay. Super Nerd coming out with uh, Vulpix again. I'm just gonna stick with uh, the same dude. There we go. How many trainers do we have in here? Hmm. I don't think that many. Alrighty. See that? Easy victory. Vulpix done. Dead. There we go. And it's coming out with another Ninetale. So, yes, we will be dealing with some Pokemon there. You know, evolved Pokemon. Pretty good Pokemon right here. And, uh... Oh, survived, but that roar attack does not work. Let's go again with Bolden. Thank you, Misty. Look at that. Easy. Easy victory. And Hydra grows to level 41. Trying to learn Hydro Pump. I guess I should teach it. I guess I should teach it instead of Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage has done pretty well. It's good to have a very, very strong move like that. Okay. He's like, yo, hot, hot, hot. Okay, so that's easy victory right there. What happens if we talk to this guy? Think, think you can do it? Oh, okay, so we have to answer the, we have to answer the question correctly or incorrectly. Either, okay, so there are nine certified gym badges. No. Okay, all right. But still, I gotta battle this guy. Let's go. Let's bring it. You can't win. I've studied Pokemon totally. No, you haven't, bro. No, you haven't. Let's go. Right here, Super Nerd wants to fight. Coming with his Ponyta. Ooh. That's just a uh, way of uh, something to tell you. That's just like predicting what's going to happen right here. And there we go. Got that Earthquake attack. There we go. Look at that, look at that, and level 42 for Thrasher, yes, is not learning any new moves, but it's cool. Charmander again, luckily for us, Earthquake Attack, dead. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that, easy, easy victory. And let's see, he's coming out with Vulpix, so I gotta switch it up to Hydra. Hail Hydra! Okay. Bubble Beam. Bye bye. It's bye bye. Bye 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 bye. And coming out with his Growlithe, I am going to just stick with the same Pokemon right here with Bubble Beam. There we go. Super effective. And that's more points for us. Super Nerd, you've been beat. He's like, wow, my studies! He's like, my theories are too complicated for you. Yeah, 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 you and your theories, whatever. This is why they call you Super Nerd, whatever. Okay, so Pokemon uh, Pokemon thingy, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, po Poliwag grow evolves three times. Generation 1, no. Generation 2, yes-ish, no-ish. That kind of thing. So, no. Alrighty, okay, so that's, you're absolutely correct. Go right through, I'm gonna battle you. I just like using fire Pokemon. If I had to choose a, if I had to choose a Pokemon typing, I, I don't know which one. I think I said Dragon type, but then you know, all of a sudden you got, you got Fairy types who just beat them, which is totally unfair. But then again, it is, it is what it is. There we go. Not bad. Oh, that was easy. All right. Okay. Let's switch it to Hydra. You know, we're, we're just going back and forth right here. And, okay, so we got another one right here. So it's Pokemon quiz, test quiz, yada, yada, yada. Are Thunder moves effective against ground type element typing Pokemon? No. They're not. They're really not. And, uh, well, we're just, we're gonna battle you. We have to. We have to battle you, man. Come on. Gotta marry you. 
You gotta do it. So here we have another super nerd, and he's coming out with his rapid dash. Now this is a pretty cool Pokemon. Look at it. Look how majestic it looks. If I didn't have Charizard, then you know I would probably use Rapid Dash because look, look, look at him, majestic. So I'm gonna use Hydro Pump because this looks like a Hydro Pump kind of situation right here. Now Fire Spin takes a little bit of a, a hit towards us, doesn't really move, and yeah, we cannot move at all. This is bad. This is really bad. Rapid Dash is faster than us right now, but here's that Hydro Pump. The inevitable was going to happen, and it just, it just happened. Look at that. Bye bye. Easy. So easy. Look at that. Ow! Okay. All right. Uh, what do you have to say, bud? Blaine was lost in the mountains when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light enabled Blaine to find his way down. Which is okay. That's good. He's talking about Moltres and whatnot. Talk to this thing again. And let's see. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is true. They are not identical. Go through. Each Pokemon grows to... Yeah, they, they, grow, they grow up differently. Okay. Well, let's go. I've been, uh, I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. Uh, no, I really don't like this gym because there's too many questions. Don't like it. And here we go. Bullpix, are you ready? Okay, so... Let's go with this. Oh, come on. How did I miss? Oh, you have Flamethrower, but, uh, yeah, a certain Pokemon of mine doesn't. Jerk-ass Pokemon. And uh, this Vulpix, this Vulpix came to fight. It came to, it came, it came to fight. It came to fight. Here we go. And there it is. Goodbye. Growlithe. So, Bubble Beam. Let's go, let's go. There we go, Bye bye And, well, that was another victory for us right there. He's like, y'all are too hot. Okay, so, what do you have to say? Now, you, us Fire Pokemon fans like Ponyta and Ninetales. That is true. And I think this is the last one before, yeah, before the Gym Leader. And, uh, let's see. TM28 contains Tombstoner. That is incorrect. That is Dig. So I'm going to go with a no. That's right. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's finish this off right here. Fire is weak against H2O. Way to be specific, brother. Way to be specific. Alrighty. Let's go. Two Pokemon. Growlithe. I wonder if you have an Arcanine. If you do, that would be awesome. So great. Alright, let's go with that Surf Attack. Finish you off. Make it look like, uh less than 10 million bucks off. Alrighty. Here we go. You got that. Huh. And he's coming out with a bull pick, so we got two canines right here. So let's just let's just keep it with Hydra. Hydra. Hail Hydra. And uh, Bubble Beam will work perfectly against you. And, uh, well, would you look at that? Another win against another super nerd and he's like oh snuffed out yes you have been snuffed out buddy what do you have to say water beats fire but fire melts ice pokemon that is true okay so here's the gym leader blaine the Cin cinnabar city gym leader and um well all you have to know is that he is a he is a fire type gym leader and uh you guys will see. I'm gonna try and use only two Pokemon. So, here it is. Ha! I am Blame, the, gym, the leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better, you better have bring, have burn heals. Whatever. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another gym battle for the second gym, uh, game in a row. We got Blaine, the gym leader. Looks like a pretty screwed up Pokemon trainer right there. And here he comes out with a Ninetales. Let's go, Thrasher. So, going on.
our screen right here. Time to kick some butt. And these Pokemon are fast. They're not. They're no. They're no slashes right here. These are all evolved Pokemon. So there we go. Earthquake attack. Does a lot of damage. And we're gonna finish him off with some Surf. But that flamethrower attack just hits us again. Would have been nice if Charizard learned flames already, you know, that kind of stuff. And there we go. Surf for the win. Bye bye Level 43 Thrasher. Heck yes. And here he comes out with the... Well, Rapid Dash. So I'm going to go straight to Hydra. And uh, I know what move to attack him with. Let's just hope it allows me to. But there's that takedown attack. Just gotta, just got to be careful with that recoil for there. Here we go, Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump for a victory. And buh bye You gotta love those uh, attack based moves. And here he comes out with Arcanine, so I'm just gonna stay with Hydra right here. Here we have a Pokemon that is 13 levels ahead of us. Very fast Pokemon. You gotta be careful with it because it could screw you in one way or the other. So here we go, Hydro Pump. There goes that takedown attack. And that took a lot. But here we go with that Hydro Pump. And look at that. Almost beats him. We gotta finish him. And uh, he's throwing in some flamethrower attacks right here. Doesn't do much. Finish him off with Bubble Beam. Say goodbye to Arcanine. Hydra grows a level 42. Eat that Blaine. Eat it. So as you can see, Blaine, I have burnt out. You have earned the Volcano Badge. That's right, we got the Volcano Badge. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. We received the TM38, which is a Fire Blast. Teach it to a Fire-type Pokemon, Charmeleon, and Ponyta would be a good bet. And that it's the ultimate technique. Don't waste it on a Water-type Pokemon. Okay, that's good. So, Pikachu, what do you think of this? He's happy. He is so happy. My god. My freaking god. Okay, so... Well, would you look at that. We got seven badges. Pretty much completed the whole game. Now we got one more gym battle to go to, and that is in Ver Viridian City. And, uh, talking to this guy, Draven, you beat the Firebrand! That is right. Now, if you guys were playing like Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red, yes, there would be somebody waiting for you right here in this corner and taking you to the Sevi Islands before you even get to the 8th badge. Would have been nice to have that right here, but we don't. So, we're done with this. We're done with uh, this gym, and uh, it is finally time to go to the final gym because there's somebody there waiting for us. So stay tuned guys, in the next episode we will be having another gym battle and it will be against the Viridian City Gym Leader. You guys probably already know who it is. I'll, I'll tell you guys in the next episode. See you guys.